Hey everybody, Christy Good at 40 here, and we are back with more Tropic Coast 6. Continuing with the next island, Speakeasy. Before I mention why we are staring at El Presidente's palace, let me give you a recap. So, when we were here last, we were worrying about the mission, uh, that missions that we have there that are right in front of some of the portions of El Presidente's palace here. The first one being the fact that we are building a pirate cove. Uh, that it's over far there in the distance uh, where our dock is, uh, the police station, which uh, we'll get to eventually as well. Uh, the education, uh, uh, having educated uh, from 13% to 20% and potentially making a second theater. So those are those. Uh, now, uh, as I stated before, uh, there's a reason I am having us look at El Presidente's palace, this big Thing where the main character that you play as uh, stays. Uh, eventually, I'm thinking, sometime in the future, uh, I'm kind of making a, a goal that uh, if I get up to, like, say, 25 videos, I will do a video where I customize uh, this palace and my El Presidente character. Uh, so I thought I'd give that out there. If I like do 25 videos, I will do this and let others uh, help in customizing the idea with color uh, and so on and so forth. There's specific things I'm planning on choosing, but I thought that maybe I'd give that out there to the people who are watching and my fans uh, and so on and so forth. So other than that, let's continue. Anything else? That's my plan for that. So let's continue. So let's see what's going on over here. Okay, let's continue. So that's gonna be interesting. See, they are building the pirate cove over here, taking some time. I had the nightmare hmm? again, Presidente. No, not the penguins. The destruction of Tropico by falling bombs. Huh. All right, so we have a militarist man here uh, from the, uh, well, the militarist himself, uh, General Rodriguez is the person that we get to talk, uh, talk to or listen to when it comes to their demands, and they want us to have a commando garrison. All right, and we can get like $5,000 or plus five militarist standing. At this point in time, I'm not really worrying about military. I'm worrying more about the people and money. So that means... Yeah. At this point in time, you know... I don't know. Uh, I think I'm not going to... No, 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 no. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I'll take this mission. I will just make a commando garrison. And I'll, I'll take the money. Because then it, it doesn't damage the relationship with them, but it also... I don't choose to better it right now. But still, either or. Let's, uh, yeah, let's accept that. And we have to make a commando garrison, which we will do here quite shortly. Perhaps. Let's, uh, continue on. <sighs> okay, so we already have one theater down here. I'm trying to think of if there's actually a real reason for us to have another theater. Hmm. Tropico is proud to welcome its new privateers and stresses that it's categorically not piracy when it's sanctioned by the state. Alright, so we have finished the pirate code. Which is good. So our pirate cove is now over here and it's finished and we have the people who are the pirates. Uh, our pirateers, basically. Or privateers, whatever you want to call them. Either or. Uh, Alright, so let's come here to trade. And we want to take the smuggler's trade route. Alright, so let's come down here. We want to look. Where's the smuggler's trade route? Smuggler. There it is. The smuggler's trade route. Or rum. Minus 90%, so it means we're not even earning much, so we have a loss. Oh, okay, well, either or, that's our trade route. So, we'll take that. There we go. 
That's done. Now I'll come back. Hmm. Oh. The police station is done, which is nice. Alright, uh, so now we they want us to build a prison. Okay, so let's let's come over here. Okay, and while I'm doing this, I'm gonna state this right now. The, um, there is one thing that I did not mention at the very beginning of this. Mm, hold on. Okay, so we just completed that. My freelance distribution experts have done their jobs. We have a direct line to our market. Apart from the greedy middlemen, of course. Yeah, of course. All right, great. So we've just completed the smuggler's quest that we got from the broker. So we have our pirate cove. We have uh, filled an export trade route for rum, and now we have export rum trade routes for smugglers, which is good. Yeah, great. The U.S. has decided they don't like to drink anymore. <laughs> Prohibition's just another opportunity for businessmen like you, me, and my client. Huh. Interesting. Alrighty, but other than that, so yes, now we have another mission for what ails you, main quest from the broker, exporting rum. In this case, lots more, which is good, gives us money. Alright, let's accept that. We'll go into trade routes, see if we've got any more. Oh, yes. Nice, good, plus 20% this time for rum. Let's get that. Alright. Yep, let's get that. Okay. What the heck happened here? Oh! I'm gonna stay on that one. There we go. Uh, so one thing I was gonna mention, uh, as I'm doing the construction over here, so what I'm doing here is, we're gonna put a landing, so we can allow people to come over to this island. Uh, but as I'm doing this, there was one thing I, I meant to mention uh, earlier at the start of this, was, um... What was it? Oh, wow, am I losing track of what I was trying to say? The world's uh, at war, oh, President Day, and that means profits. Of course, everything means profits, but war is my absolute thing. War is not my absolute thing. Uh, I am... Not gonna do this one. Yeah, no. Okay. I, I choose not to do all the missions. Uh, so as I was saying, so there was something I wanted to mention at the very beginning of this, and it was uh, that uh, if you're hearing overlapping music, my apologies. Uh, I, what I'm doing is I'm doing stream safe music, so that way uh, there are no issues with my videos when I upload these. So if you guys are hearing more than one set of Music here in Tropico, my apologies. This is what I have to deal with. Because I'm just doing this just off my PlayStation. I don't have like a capture card or any uh, big setup, just so people know that. My setup is way more basic than any professional YouTuber right now. So this is just what I'm starting off. This is my bare bones, just so everybody knows. Uh, okay, so wants us to build a prison over here. So let's go over here. I have the money, so let's purchase this, and we'll make our prison presence well known on this island. Remember, Tropico could be invaded at any time. Keep your survival kit on hand. In the event of panic, breathe into the paper bag. <laughs> oh, that's always funny. Alright, let's just go straight up, and then over this way. There we go. Alright. So we have put our prison down, some landing needs to be built, then our prison will be built. Alright. Next thing we need is an education. So let's come over here. How is our people doing? So we have tons of homeless people. That's not good. So we have tons of homeless. So that is something we need to do. Most of them are poor. One of them is well off. Yeah, most of them are poor broke. We have tons of well off places, but not an awful lot of stuff from poor. That's not good. And we have 
four, five uneducated and one high school. So we need more high school jobs. Meaning, no, I'm sorry. We need more high school educated people. So we need education. We do. We really need education. So in this case, seeing as our education is at 13%, I'm gonna make a goal that we're gonna educate our people for these high education jobs that we need. So the reason I didn't do weapons is because of the fact that I'm not doing education well right now. So let us start by bettering that today. So let's go in here. And I think it's best to do this. Get a high school. So let's do, yep, buy that, buy that. But the question is, where do we want to put this high school? Because we could either put it all the way down here or somewhere else. It's like, where would you want to put your education? I mean, I could put it right in the center here. I could put it all the way over here. I could make it easy access. It's like, where to put the high school? Huh. Hmm. I mean, I could put it over here, but then I uh, maybe not. I, um, hmm. Actually, I almost feel like I want to put it over here. I think I got an idea. Let's see about this. Let's do this. Exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, come on. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm trying to zoom out and it's not working. All right, so maybe we'll put, oh, I apparently missed a mission. Um, if we want to export trade route with the access. Um, I think I'm good. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't even notice that. So let's go back in here. Go down to education. Let's get a high school because I think we need that. We'll put it right here and then we'll have more spots for homes. So based on the almanac, we have tons of people not having homes. So, okay, let's put... Some more bunk houses. There, there. Let's come over here. Expand a little bit more over here because there might be some people homeless over here too. There we go. Your greatness is irresistible to flatterers and yes men. Such people disgust me. Interesting. So we have a main quest coming in from Penultimo called Prohibition. Now I bet you anybody nowadays who knows about Prohibition, this is gonna be a very interesting portion in our series. In Tropico. So basically Penultimo is asking me this is a main quest to research prohibition and issue the prohibition edict. 
this will be interesting. So let's accept that. So we have another mission. So this is where research comes in. And this is where the library here allows us to do research. So let's actually just go into the library. We'll go down here and open the research screen. So this is the colonial era research. And this is our research. And I think, yep, prohibition is right here. So it wants us to research this, which decreases the efficiency of all entertainment buildings by 30%. Okay, great decreasing, decreasing the efficiency, but it increases the efficiency of all other buildings by 10%. It also decreases crime safety by 10 So this is how interesting this becomes. It increases the ability of... Ha it increases more crime to bring in more criminals when it comes to prohibition. So basically, it basically means we're creating more crime hotspots to allow for arresting more criminals, basically, hence the reason for the prisons. So, here we go, so let's research Prohibition, which will take some time, of course. Alright, so we have this. Seems like these will be the first things to be made, so here's hoping it goes. So, let's go to times two, because we want to speed this up a bit. Alrighty. Going good so far. Now, I'm not doing the theater or the commando garrison right now, for two reasons. One, we're kind of getting a little low on the money. I don't want to go too far below 20,000, because if I go below 20,000 and the minus, I will start losing money. Ah, there we go, prohibition is done. Now, issue that he did. Sorry about that. Uh, sound count out there, for myself. Continuing on. Uh, let's go up here. So these are edicts. And in here, it allows us to do all this. So, let's issue that. Edict. If you want to improve work performance across the whole of Tropical, there's nothing better than sober workers. As a fringe benefit, prohibition helps folk lose weight, suffer from fewer heart attacks, and their livers gradually recover. Trouble is, with all the gin joints out of action, people are going to be mightily bored. And it might be best not to be out on the streets at night when the hoods are shaking down the speakeasies. And this is the reason why the prohibition thing is not the greatest, because basically it, it, it it's... Yeah, uh, it creates a reason for more crime. So, alright, that's uh, Penultimo's take on the prohibition edict. So I'm going to issue this edict, and it'll be around for a certain amount of time. There we go done. And we are finally getting the high school dealt with. How is the construction going on out here? Nothing so far. We are exporting our rum, which is good. Oh! And we finally have ourselves a school. So we need to have five, four high school educator workers, and we only have one. Last I checked. We still only, well actually we have two. High school jobs, basically now. And very little people are gonna go, so we need to get more. Oh, now we have two. So that might just say no. Then you change. Okay. Intriguing. So we have our high school, we're dealing with our education. It's good. I'm literally thinking of just coming into this and saying bye-bye to that. Yeah, I'm not going to make a second theater. We already have one. I don't need two. Okay, we're worrying about everything else. We're going to do with the Commando Garrison shortly, which is actually going to be useful. I'm actually going to do this now, which will be funny. Uh, let's do... cost me too much, so let's do this, buy that, we'll do this, and I know the best place for it. I 
put it right here, which is good. Right over by where our pirate cove is. So not only do we have the pirate cove, we have the, uh, the garrison. And both of which do the same thing. If we go into the raids, we have the pirate cove. We're going to have the commander garrison. There are, these are the two that I have never gone to Cold War era or modern times so far. So it'll be interesting when we get to those other eras. Alrighty. What was the other one? Oh yeah, cyber operations. So there's... That's all the overview. Alright. Alright, so we have a little bit less... Yeah, we are starting to... Let's face it, it's better to be one of the allies than one of the Axis. You get to be an ally instead of, well, an axe. So we've gotten allies demand for the same thing that we got for the axis demand. That's kind of the reason why I wasn't taking any of theirs, because I knew we'd be getting missions like this from the allies. So I'm going to accept this, and we're going to do an export trade route. So let's go into here, trade. Now, I'm already doing a smuggler's run contract, so let's buy another license. And we're going to try and figure out what is the best thing that we'd want to do with the allies, and then come up with something else. Because I don't want to purchase something, but it is a good idea to try to get something. Okay, cheese would almost be a good idea, because we can make cheese, and it's not that bad. We're already selling rum. Oh, that's for that. Logs, we have logs. Could be doing that, but we don't get as much with that than cheese. Nickel. Hmm. We'd get nothing out of it. Uh-uh. I'm not gonna do that. Selfish. Again, not as equal as cheese. Sugar. Yeah, I, I'm literally thinking the cheese, so it means we need to make cheese. Okay, so I like this idea. I like this idea. So let's. I'm going to take this cheese contract for the allies. But we're going to do this one. We're not going to do the 1,150. We're going to do the 6,900. Because I want to start producing some cheese. And we're almost getting onto our timeline. So let's do this. We're going to do this contract. Okay. And we're going to start working on making cheese. So not only are we going to be doing rum, we're going to be making some cheese. So means we're going to need lots of stuff to make a cheese, which we might just try and do further over in this direction, and so on and so forth. We're not going to get to that right away, because, yeah. or should we? Actually, yeah, let's get to that. Yeah, okay, so let's go into construction. We're going to look at things. So, in this case, ranch. Best place, I think, is either sheep or goats. Sheep, you get wool and milk. So that would almost be nice, but we can't do it nearby. What about goat? Okay, so we are gonna just do the goats so we can get milk. And provide tons of good jobs. Okay. This time, we are going to need to get more money. Huh. How's our exporting of rum going? Okay, we just got some more money. Okay, so let us, let us, <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's uh, go into food and resources, let's get some ranches. We're gonna primarily go for the goats because we need milk and only sheep and goats in this game will provide milk. One will provide wool, but the best place I wanna do it is right down here. So let's do the goat. Okay, so let's do this, and we're going to need a fair amount, so I'm going to say let's put one here, and then another right there. We're going to do two, just to start it off, but we need to be able to make a fair amount of cheese so we can do some stuff, and eventually we're going to be making uh, a creamery, so I'll show you what that's like, so in industrial... We need a creamery, which is basically right down here, to allow us to make cheese. And it's a little bit loose, but still, we need to do with having that. Alright, but other than that, everything's going good. Let's 
slow this down a bit. Our helms are being constructed. Everything's going good. We have, yeah, done everything else, which is great. Alrighty, so we're gonna pause it here for now. And that is it for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There have been lots of things we have done today. We completed the missions from the last episode, uh, building the uh, Pirate's Cove. We still haven't built the prison yet. We're working on our education uh, and all the other things that we had done uh, before, we have done. We have gotten the fact that we're exporting rum. Uh, we're working on education. We are building the commando garrison and we're starting on doing cheese for an allies trade route. Uh, we had also kind of started, as you could tell, to make the island off the coast into a personal Alcatraz, and are dealing with issues around crime this whole time is basically what's going on. Uh, what else will we do next time? Find out next week. So please, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it, and share this with your friends. That would be much appreciated. Also, please subscribe if you are not subscribed, and want to see any more future content. Until then, Stay healthy and stay safe, and keep on gaming out there.